What is up guys? So today there's a bunch of random stuff that I want to try and tackle on the RX-7. Um, I have to make a tranny tunnel seal. Uh, I have to check on the rear brakes and the rear diff to make sure that there's nothing wrong because there's a bunch of noise back there. I just want to make sure that it's normal. And I mean, I know I have solid bushings everywhere, but just want to make sure everything's solid. Um, I want to try start a tackling making a uh, center fascia and a switch panel, which is really cool. I have some really cool stuff to try for that. I forgot to bring my laptop today, so there's not much I can do with the race pack. With that though, I have to get, uh, I have to wire in, oh, I have to install the new air temp sensor that came with the Haltech, because right now I'm using the stock one. And I'd also like to double check with a thermocouple to make sure the factory water temp gauge is reading correctly, because it seemed like it was really low. It's gorgeous outside right now, but uh, yeah, let's see what I can get to today. So I couldn't help myself, I already put this all together, but it's like, uh, I got these really cool rocker switches and they have like this pack of these uh, little holders that I got that they kind of snap together really nice. So I got eight of them. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of wiring. I'm gonna try to do this as cleanly as possible. I also got a pack of relays, which I'll show you in a second. But my thinking is um, I'm gonna have uh, overall ignition here. This will be fuel. This will be fan override. So I'll have the controller normally controlling the fans from the race pack, but when you click this, it'll just automatically turn the fans on regardless. Um, this might be a launch control switch. I haven't decided, and then this is an extra. So right now, these are just two extras. Um, this is gonna be the windows up and down, driver passenger. And then this one, because I couldn't find a single momentary one that matched these, this is the start button. It's just down here. Um, I haven't figured out use if I wanna do anything with the up on this one, but just for now, down will be start but these are all universal so if I find something else I can just pop this out and put a new one in but I love how this looks and it's just gonna be nice it's very clean very simple and it's just organized so I'm stoked on this I also got a bunch of these little relays that have built-in fuses so it's a very small four pin relay with a fuse and then these really nice harness connectors that all click together as well. I actually, I was really hoping these had a mount on them. They don't, which is kind of annoying. I have to figure that out. They do have like a little slot though. So I might be able to find a way to hook them onto something. We'll see. But the point of this is these, these are gonna be all in a line for all the toggles, not the start, actually maybe the start, but mainly, yeah, these first six buttons are gonna have relays. These two won't, but what I'm gonna do is some of these switches are ground and some of them are power. So to keep it simple, all the switches will be wired the same way with the relay, and then the relay switched signal can either be power or ground, it doesn't matter, it just connects the circuit. So the output of these will be different and I'll have it all organized really nice in a row and after I took them all out I actually noticed that they came with uh, these little brackets which is really cool so the goal is gonna be to simplify the wiring of all these pins as as much as much as possible so I'm gonna really think about how these all go it's actually really simple I know a lot of these are just like LED stuff you know, like the, I think these are for just the LED on top. And I think this is the switch here, and this might be for like the ground for the LED on the bottom, stuff like that. Because these ones, essentially these all are gonna come on when the headlights are on. And then when you push the button in down, then this bottom LED will light up. So most of the wiring is just for that. But I wanna do like a constant power ignition. Some So the, basically what I wanna do is when you turn the key, I want the, that to arm the whole system and essentially send power to the power of all these. And then from there, I can send the ignition to the car, send the uh, f signal to the fuel pump, you know, and, and various things. So it'll kind of like when you turn the car on with the key, it'll arm this. So that way, even, you know, you can turn the car off by killing ignition and fuel, or you can just turn off the key if you want. You can just leave these two on all the time because they'll go on when the car is turned on, I guess. So, depending on what you want, which is great. Checked 
and this switch panel oh man it is just barely gonna fit here so when I make that fascia panel that's so I don't know if I've mentioned this but I'm gonna make a panel that follows this outer line here all the way around here and then I'll notch it for whenever I put the handbrake kind of here and I can cut this out and it'll have a continuous kind of thing so I'm not gonna actually end up doing a panel that bolts to that because this is so tight in there so this is just gonna kind of sit just like that which I think is just gonna be the best thing ever I want to adjust the uh, clutch because it doesn't feel like it's engaging right and I also want to adjust the brake in the back so that switch right there I adjusted this guy all the way out to stop the pedal and then I actually bent this metal bracket down a little bit too so the clutch stop would be even higher so now they're level before the clutch pedal was like, like two inches farther out here but the clutch rod has play in its current position and I can also push the clutch in and disengage the clutch so I know that the throw of the RX-7 slave uh, the throw of the whole RX-7 system is more than what's necessary for the R154 so we're totally fine with the setup and it feels a lot more modern which I'm in love with I'm gonna drive it a bit and just make make sure that it's fine get it when I pull it the driveway it makes like such a bad grinding noise like this brake is like seized up or something but like it spins perfectly fine so I really don't get what it could possibly be that doesn't make any sense for a noise and see if you can figure out where it's coming from because I don't see a problem which is actually good news I don't know, unless like the axle's hitting the body or something. Which I think we have tons of clearance. Weird. I figured out what the noise was um, when I put this bolt back in when I was test fitting the dual caliper bracket I forgot to put the washer on this and this was contacting the rotor slightly yikes so that noise was definitely that bolt because uh, it definitely doesn't make it anymore it sounds way better uh, I just took it on the block real quick and it just not having any noise in the back kind of like it makes the transmission and the differential kind of noise sound normal it doesn't have any kind of like bad sounds to it it's just a little bit of a whine like more of like a buzzing sound just because it's solid mounts all around no sound deadening i think i'm just you know overreacting but now i can get to that switch panel get a quick diagram on the board just so when i'm wiring this i can always kind of see but it's actually really simple um when you hold it like this all the top pins all these top pins are grounds so for these two switches that the ground for the leds and then uh, these are the grounds for both the LEDs. And then on this one, the center, this guy is always power. Dead center here, these guys. And then these ones, they just have two powers because essentially these ones are meant for motors. So you have uh, two power wires come in and then on one side you have them normal and the other side you have them crisscrossed. So that way you can reverse a motor. So that those are meant for the window because that's how the uh, FC one is, is there's like a green, uh, black and a black red and then it's like a green, black and green, white and so on. And those uh, will make the windows go up and down. But for the start switch, um, I don't actually need the two poles. I just got it because they were the same part as those. So I'm actually only gonna use two of these pins because um, I'm not even gonna have a top circuit for now. So I'm just gonna have a power in the middle and then output to the relay that will close the start signal. So that's that. So 
this is what ha this is what it looks like normally. So here's your switches. So they light up when you press them. And then these ones will they don't have power yet because there's nothing coming from the window thing yet, but that's that. And then when you have illumination from the headlights, you get these that just kind of glow and then they activate the top, which is really slick. So we got the red is the power, black's ground, and that green is the illumination from the headlights. And then all those other extra pins that don't have a spade on these guys, and then the one opposite that power and that one on the way to the right, uh, those are the outputs to the relays. Stoked. But I will pick this up tomorrow.